Praise the Lord. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for this beautiful Tuesday. Janice Moultrie, good morning to you. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Beautiful day this morning. Hallelujah. Thank the God for another refreshing day. Thank God for another victorious day, wonderful day, joyful day. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for a day filled with your victories and your glory, your honor. Thank you, Lord, for a day filled with favor and blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. What a most awesome God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Juanita Hudson, good morning to you. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We serve an awesome God. Veronica Hope, good morning to you. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise you, Heavenly Father. He has. There's none like our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Psalm 62 this morning. Praise the Lord. Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I should not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bow and wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul, wait thou only upon God, and for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times. Ye people, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are vanity and men of high degree are alive. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So good to see y'all today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Psalm 47. O oh, clap your hands, all ye peoples. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is, is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He, cho he shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. God is going up with the shout, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises unto our king, sing praises. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. God... The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the south of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in their palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled. They passed by. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hastened away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind, as we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will establish it for it forever. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple, according to the name, according to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. 
Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgment. Walk about Zion. Go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our God even unto death. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. So good to see y'all this morning. Last Psalm, Psalm 100. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this day. We just thank you and praise you. We love you. We lift you up. We come giving you all the honor, all the glory. We come to esteem you high because there is no God like our God. Even though you sit high, you look low. And Father God, we just want to thank you and praise you this day. Lord God, we give you all glory, all the honor. Father, thank you right now for giving us the breath of life. Thank you right now for, hallelujah, just waking us up this day or watching over us light through the night. Lord, thank you for your angels that's encamped round about us all the day long, no matter where we go or what we do, going in and coming out. Father God, we just thank you right now for the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding that shall keep us and surround us this day. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning because you are a gracious God, a forgiving God, a merciful God, and a loving God. Father God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are Jehovah Shalom, the one that gives us peace. You are Jehovah Nisi, our victory, our banner. Father God, you are El should die. Hallelujah. God Almighty, the many breasted one, the source of all of our blessings. Jehovah Tashik, you know, the one. Hallelujah. The righteous God. The one who put us in right standing with him. Hallelujah. Through your son, Jesus Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. And Father, we thank you for the cross. We thank you for the nails. We thank you for his blood that was shed. But God, we thank you that he didn't stay there. Hallelujah. Yes, God. That he stripped the devil of everything that was stolen in the beginning and restored it unto us. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, Lord, that we have an advocate with the Father who's interceding on our behalf, and that's Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit this morning, your holy presence that's in us and upon us, your holy presence that's around us, your holy presence that is a, hallelujah, a shield, a buckler, and a strong tower, which is you, Lord God. Thank you right now for comforting those, hallelujah, who need comfort today, counseling all of us today. Lord God, we just want to thank you that you will never leave us, fail us, nor forsake us. And we just glorify you and magnify you this day. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, awesome God, wonderful God. Mighty holy God this morning that we serve, the God that woke us up this day, the God that who's with us, the God who will never leave you. You are never alone because your God is always with you. Hallelujah. You don't have to have a statue at work and a statue at home and a statue at church. No, your God is a living God, a breathing God, a God that's with you at all times. And we thank him and praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, what a mighty God we serve today. What an awesome and a wonderful God today. It's so good to know the Lord this morning. It's so good to know our Savior this morning. And we just thank him and praise him. Hallelujah, the true and living God this morning. He is our shield and our buckler. He is our strong tower. He is a very present help in time of trouble. And we just thank him that as we cry out, he hear us and answereth us. He delivers us. And we thank you this morning, Heavenly Father. We just praise you. We just love you. We just lift you up, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Thank God for the mighty God that he is, the mighty God that we love and serve, and the mighty God who loves us. Hallelujah. There is no one like our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
Hallelujah. Let me say a prayer over you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning, everybody this morning. Know that the Lord loves you and I love you too this morning. Let me pray for you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of my brothers and sisters who are standing with me today. Hallelujah. Declaring your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father, I thank you this day, first of all, for giving all of us the breath of life today. Yes, Lord, for just waking us up this morning or being with those who was up throughout the night. Lord God, just thank you and praise you this morning that you are strengthening us in our soul, in our spirit, in our physical bodies, these temples of the Holy Ghost. Father God, I thank you right now for supplying all of our need according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus, that we have no lack, nothing missing and nothing broken. Father God, thank you for being strength when we are weak. Thank you for being joy when we're sad and sorrowful. Father, thank you for being peace when there's chaos. Lord God, I just thank you and praise you this morning, God, that no matter where we go or what we to do today, everything we'll do, we do will be to bring you glory and honor this morning, this day, Lord. And Father, may we be your ambassadors, be your representatives on the job, in the businesses, in the stores, in our homes, God. Even when we're by ourselves and can't nobody else see us, God, let us do what's right because it's right. Lord God, we just I just thank you and praise you this morning for these, your children right now, for the hedge of protection that's all around them today. Father, I pronounce and I declare Psalms 9 and 1 and 1, hallelujah, that we all dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We abide under the shadow of you this morning, Father, of the Almighty. Lord God, we thank you. No evil can get in. No evil, hallelujah, is coming out of us. Lord God, I thank you and praise you this morning. Oh, Heavenly Father, that our tongues are brighter like that, hallelujah, of a horse. But God, but our whole body, mind, soul is brighter by the Holy Spirit today. Lord God, I thank you right now that we trust in you because you're able to do exceed it abundantly above all. We dare to ask, think, or imagine according to your power your word that's working in us this day. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. I thank you and praise you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, yes. For these, your children, your warriors, hallelujah, your, 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 your children, a reflection of you this morning, God. And I thank you this morning that everything we put our mind and hand to, that it shall prosper. We won't stop, we won't quit, we won't give up because the battle is not ours, but it's yours, Lord, and we have the victory through Christ. Christ Jesus, I thank you right now for peace. I thank you right now, hallelujah, for financial blessings in our lives today. I thank you right now for supernatural healing, that we walk in divine health and divine healing. Father, I thank you for unity and restoration of families today. Lord God, I thank you for the promotion on the job. I thank you, hallelujah, for the witty inventions and ideas that you've given us today. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you this morning because we are never alone and you are always with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We just give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know that God is with you, that God, hallelujah, will never leave you. Well, hallelujah. Know that God is always walking with you. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't you quit. Don't you give up on God. Hallelujah. I don't care what your struggle is. I don't care, you know, what you're going through. Don't you quit on God because God is not quitting on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You keep on pushing. You keep moving. You keep on trying to do. Hallelujah. Walk like Christ. Act like Christ. You keep doing it. God sees you. Hallelujah. God know what he put in you. God know the outcome. So don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you give up. Hallelujah. You may have told yourself, you know what? I'm going to exercise. I'm going to exercise. So you start. Hallelujah. You may get going and all of a sudden you just get, get knocked off. Don't, don't quit. Get back up. The Bible says a just man falls seven times, but he rises again. Get back up. Tell God, God, I need your help in this area. Hallelujah. Before you start, just start giving God praise. Just start praying. 
But I want you to know, don't you quit. Don't you quit on faith. Keep exercising your faith. Keep stretching your faith. Keep believing God for the impossible because God is a God of the impossible. We know that with man, things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you let other people talk you out of it. Matter of fact, maybe this your season just to be quiet. Hallelujah. Maybe it's not your season to be sharing. Hallelujah with everybody because everybody can't handle what God is doing in your life, what God is about to do in your life. They can't handle what God did in your life in the past because they don't understand why. I'm just telling you, keep exercising your faith. Keep stretching your faith. Keep doing those things that's going to help your faith increase. Keep moving forward, my brothers and sisters. Don't throw in the towel. Don't let others talk you out of your dreams. Don't let other people talk you out of thinking bigger. Don't let other people talk you out of achieving your God-given success. God sees you, but don't you quit. Don't you give up. Others around you have given up. You ask them, hey, what happened to this? Oh, I, got, I just got tired, so I stopped. Don't you stop. Don't you quit. Don't you throw in the towel. And don't let nobody, including church members, family members, a pastor, don't let nobody stop you. If you know that God is with you and what you're doing and you believe it, and it seems to be working and God is keep on, keep on, even if it's hard right now, let me tell you something, don't you quit. Breakthrough comes to those who don't quit, who don't give up. You, you ain't never seen nobody get a breakthrough who quit. You ain't never seen nobody, hallelujah, get promotion who quit. So I want you to know today, yeah, the devil wants you to quit too. The devil wants you to stop because he don't want you, hallelujah, to give God the praise. He don't want other people to, to, to hear your testimony. But I want you to know this morning, don't you quit. Don't you give up. Don't you stop believing God. Don't you stop doing what the Lord has called you to do or what you put your hands to do. Because you're because you are going to come out just the way that God intended for you to come out. So know that I love you this morning and 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 hey listen, I'm talking to all of us. Don't you give up. Don't you give up on the word. Don't you give up on on that business idea, don't you give up on your family. Don't you quit. I know sometimes you get a little weary. Sometimes you get a little tired. But guess what? Don't quit. All your help comes from the Lord. Remember, the Lord is a very present help in time of trouble. When you're struggling, when it seems to be hard. Hallelujah. We all go through some storms. Some of us, we quit. Some of us, we just say, hey, I don't know what to do. You keep moving. Child of God, you keep moving. And let the Holy Spirit continue to guide your life. Let the Holy Spirit continue to encourage you. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I know it, it, sometimes it seems a little hard, but keep pushing. Keep believing. Keep having faith in God. Amen. All right, all right, all right. I want to start the day off with, with, with our favorite confession this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love y'all too this morning. Hallelujah. I love y'all too. And, and, and thank y'all for, for stopping by today. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare and I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural, power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life as a shield. I declare the favor of God is working for me when I'm awake and when I'm asleep, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my home, on my job, with my businesses. I have favor 
good success and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up and is raising up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, the strength, money, discernment, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. My God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, discernment, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. And I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, and modified to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I declare I am Abraham's seed and the favor of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it again. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. One more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time. Hallelujah. Turn around one more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Let's reach up and let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down this favor from the north, south, east, and west. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down favor increase from the north, south, east, and west. Pull it down today. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, pull it down. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Listen, I'm thanking God for that favor that's moving already. That favor that's being stirred up today for you and for me. Thanking God. Hallelujah. Thank you right now that that favor is just working right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, you don't even know you got a situation, but favor has already showed up to handle the situation. Favor has already prepared it. It's hallelujah. So that something is something going to show up before you even need it because the favor is, is just, the favor of God is just in your life like that. You don't even know you need something, but God is going to hallelujah just have that favor show up. And then hallelujah, when, when the situation arises, you already got the favor. The favor has already answered it. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise him, praise him, praise him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You know, sometimes you feel like you got to fight. Sometimes you feel like, hey, hallelujah, things just seem like they just going to be going right. So sometimes you may feel like, hey, you know what? I don't know what, what, what it is. Why I keep battling this? Hallelujah. Well, we know God allows us to go through some things, but sometimes we just got to fight because the devil is busy. And I just want to let you know this too. the morning we let the devil know it's on now. Now, we're not afraid to fight. Hallelujah. We're not afraid to fight. Matter of fact, let me read, read some scriptures to you to help you out in your battle today. If you feel like, hey, you got to fight. Hallelujah. I love this right here. 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just want to read verses three and four. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. See, we don't fight <clears throat> like the flesh, like carnal people, people who are outside of, uh, of God. We don't fight like them. Look at what the Bible tells us. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Look what it says. For the weapons, that means there's more than one. Hallelujah. We got more than one weapon that we use in, in, in our warfare. Hallelujah. We got weapons of praise. We got weapons of faith. We got weapons of prayer. We got weapons, hallelujah, of dancing. The weapons of our warfare are not flesh and blood. But they are what? Spiritual. They're mighty. Through God. See? That's how we fight, y'all. We fight through God. We fight through God. For the pulling down of stronghold. If something is holding on to you real hard, something seems like it just won't let you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> that means, hey, just go through God. In the name of Jesus. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So I use this better as a symbolism because it's on now. To let the devil know, no devil, we ain't giving up. Because the weapons of our warfare. See, we, we're in warfare right now. As we speak these confessions, we're letting the devil know, hey, uh-uh. We letting every, the whole world know, uh-uh. We serve God. And we're going to let the devil know this morning, it's on now. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty through God. Don't forget that part. See, when you're going through, call on God. Call on Jesus. You pray to God the Father in the name of Jesus. But hey, don't stay where you are. Don't stay in your frustration. Don't stay in that sorrow. Pick yourself up, child of God, this morning. Use your weapons. Give God praise. You got the weapons of faith. I'm coming out regardless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's, come on, y'all. Let's do this. It's on now confession today. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare it's on now. It's on now. Satan, I speak to you today, and I boldly declare that you are a defeated foe in my life, that you are under my feet, I confidently speak and boldly declare that you cannot have my family, the vision, the plan, or the purpose of God for my life. I declare that I am blessed and my seed is blessed beyond a thousand generations. My God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I declare, when you came at me like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard of protection and victory for me against you. You came at me in one way, but you are fleeing in several ways. And devil, I declare, it's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I speak the word of God. And the word says that I have the victory through Christ Jesus and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding surrounds me and keeps me Satan, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing. I am glad in it. Hallelujah. I declare you can't have my health, my faith, my peace, my joy, my victory, my strength, my finances, or my praise. I live in Jesus, and Jesus 
lives in me. God has given me everything that pertains unto life, godliness, and righteousness. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. I have on the full armor of Almighty God, and I stand ready to do battle, Satan, to fight you now. I have on the breastplate of righteousness. My loins are girded with the truth. I have on the helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. My feet are shod with the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. And I take the shield of faith and I quench every fiery dart, every lie you throw at me, devil. I have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I use it daily in my battle, in my victories. And I declare, Satan, you are defeated. Satan, I stand ready to fight you now, to defeat you now. And I declare that I will see the salvation of the Lord for my life and my family's life. You picked the wrong child of Almighty God to mess with today. And you are defeated. It's on now. It's on now. It's on now. In Jesus' name, give Satan a knockout punch. Hallelujah. Woo. He go. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the devil is a defeated foe in your life. He is under your feet. Don't let Satan trick you. Hallelujah. Don't fall for it. Hallelujah. Pick yourself up. Tell yourself, hey, wait a minute. I am a child of God. Hallelujah. The devil is under my feet. Jesus already whooped this behind years ago. Hallelujah. You let him know, hey, hallelujah, that not today, devil. Somebody say it after me. Not today, devil. Say it again. Not today, devil. Say it one more time. Not today, devil. Hallelujah. Yeah, the devil is a liar anyway. That's all he do is lie. He ain't nothing but a, he ain't nothing but a, 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 a scammer. That's all he is. The devil, just like them people who call you on the telephone getting on your nerve, he a scammer. That, that, that's all. And listen, when he's scamming, when you feel like, or better, you recognize that it's a trick of the devil, then what you do? Ask him, do he know Jesus? Ask him, has he received Christ? And then tell him, not today, devil. You are a liar. Tell him, not today. Hallelujah. And then hang up and give God praise. See, that's how the devil is. He, he, he may even... The devil may even call you by name. Because, you know, we got some of them scammers. They call you, and they call you by your first name acting like they know you. So you have to recognize that and, hey, put the Lord on the telling not today. You start hearing something, God ain't going to heal you. Or uh, saying, do you know Jesus? Next. Look, the negative thoughts that's getting in your head, ask them, do you know Jesus? My faith is in the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, come on, beautiful people. Let's get into this I Am Confession. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Good morning, beautiful people. Hallelujah. Mighty children of the Most High God. Good morning to you. I love you this morning. Say this after me. I am, I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. 
I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am confident. I am faithful. I am dependable. I am reliable. I am trustworthy. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am humble. I am thankful. I am compassionate. I am dependable. I am generous. I am nice. I am kind. I am strong. I am capable. I am skillful. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am sanctified. I am set apart. I am renewed. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God that's in me, that's upon me, than any spirit that is in this world. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Say it one more time. I am a child of God. I am God's hand at work. I am God's masterpiece. In Jesus' name, give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, listen. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Everything we just said, you are that. You are that. You are special. You are unique. You are a child of God. You are on God's mind. Say this after me. Say, I am special. I am unique. I am on God's mind. Say it one more time. I am special. I am unique. I am on God's mind. Hallelujah. Listen, don't, 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 don't feel like God doesn't think about you. Yes, he does. He made you. He loves you. God is thinking about you every day. He's thinking about you. You are on his mind. Know that. He said, I know the thoughts and the plans that I have towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future to give you a hope, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 and 11. He says in Jeremiah 1, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I had ordained you. He, he said it. He sanctified us. And he ordained us. He created us to be something. Hallelujah. I remember back in, what is this, 1987, I believe. Whatever year it was. Before, when Jesse Jackson announced he was running for president, he spoke to us at, a, at, at my high school. Um, I think it was back in 87. But whenever it was, he came and he spoke to us. And I'll never forget, he said some words that still ring today. I am somebody. And he all, had all of us saying that. Then he walked down, for those of you who know Bell Glade, he walked down Fifth Street, letting everybody know to say, I am somebody. You are somebody in God's eyes. And I want you to understand that today. I don't care what your background is, where you came from, even where you are right now. I want you to understand in God's eyes, you are somebody. And don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You are somebody. So please receive that and know that you are somebody. Amen, the Jordan Simon. That's right. God loves you. Understand that. Understand that God loves you and God made you somebody. You're a blessing. Hallelujah. You are great. Hallelujah. Right now, let's, 
Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down some things today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down praise in Jesus' name. Pull it down today. Woo! Let that praise be on the inside and let it come on the outside today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's pour down joy today. Hallelujah. This, this is one of the fruit of the spirit. Let's pour down this joy today. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pour down joy in Jesus' name. Pull it down. Hallelujah. Listen, let's pull down strength this morning. Somebody may be in need of strength this morning, so I want you to, I want you to know and understand God is giving you strength. The Holy Spirit is a strengthener. He's, he's a helper. He gives us strength. God gives us strength when we are weak. And when we're weak, his strength is made what? It's just, it's there. His strength will strengthen us. Hallelujah. So come on, come on. Let's pour our strength this morning. Say this out to me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pour down strength in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We're going to do one more. We're going to pour down courage today. It takes courage to step out on God. It takes courage to believe God. It takes courage to walk in this word, to keep walking in this word in, in the face of adversity and in, in time of trouble. But I want you to continue to have courage. I don't want you to give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you feel like, you know, you just about to quit, you need somebody to talk to, call that number that's at the top of your screen. Let us pray and praise God together. Hallelujah. Because you're not acquitted. You're part of this of the church 429 family. That's what I that's what our ministry is all about. Uplifting, encouraging, inspiring. Hallelujah. You, you, you're not giving up. You come too far to quit now. Hallelujah. Thank you. Matter of fact, go listen to that Mary Mary song that talks about don't give up. Don't. Don't quit now. Listen to that Donna Lauren song, uh, Encourage Yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to that song by Fred Hammond, When the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, get you something. See that? Weapons of our warfare. That music from God that encourages you, hallelujah, to fight, to, to stand in the battle. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. So come on. Let's do courage this morning. We may have already did, but let's do it again. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment, and I pour down courage in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. We just want to thank God. Hallelujah. Hey, listen. Thank y'all for continuing to support what God has allowed me to do, for standing with me. Uh, I want to invite you, mark your calendar, July 2nd, July 2nd, uh, 2022. We're going to have our family fun day, our family fellowship on the park day. We're going to be at Dyer Park, D-Y-E-I Park, and you and your family are invited so come out and fellowship with us. You're, you're a part of the Uplift Church 429 family. So we want to invite you to come out and celebrate with us at the park as we have a good time. You know, you got fishing license, bring your fishing pole. We're going to be fishing. You got a playground for the kids. But we just want to have a good time in the Lord uh, on that day. And you are invited to come out and celebrate with us, to come out and celebrate with us, to just have a wonderful time. Hallelujah. We will not be having church on the third. Uh, hallelujah. This is our day of fellowship. So we, I just want to ask you to come out, make plans 
to come out and celebrate with us and bring your family with you. I'm looking forward to meeting some of y'all in person. So just come on out and be a part of the celebration. Let us just have a good time in the Lord. We're going to have some good food. My family tell you right now, we have some great food. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I already know. We're going to have some great food. We're going to have some great times. And, and it's just going to be a beautiful thing. That's July 2nd. Don't forget, July 2nd. That's, um, what weekend is that, babe? Uh, Pastor Marina, um, Independence. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. That July 4th weekend can lead until July 4th. But just come out and just celebrate with us. We're going to have a great time in the Lord on July 2nd. Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all. We we're gonna have we had a great time last year on the Penny Hill Covenant Christian Center. We're looking to take it up a level. We also, once again, gonna do ice to pastors, and I'm trying to get a couple other brothers and sisters to join me as we raise money for our uh, outreach ministries. But I just want to just say thank you, and I look forward to meeting you. You can join us on Sundays. Thank you for continuing to support us. Hallelujah! During the week with prayer and our um, church service on Sunday, I just want to say thank you for just being a blessing. It's a blessing to see you here. It's a blessing for you to invite other people to come out. So with that being said, let's have a wonderful day. So on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife back there, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautiful, it's amazing, wonderful, it's blessed, it's best, it's Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire belt ties, anointed, hands down, hallelujah, committed, dedicated, skillful, lawyer, prompt to do, on fire by the believers, on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and of course you, our Uplift Church 429 family, Facebook Live family, we love you, God bless you, see you in the morning, bring somebody with you, peace, have a wonderful day everybody, hallelujah, thank you Lord.